Hello there, Aries. Welcome to your reading. So when I was meditating on the latter half of March reading for you, I have two images and I'm going to relay that to you first and then we'll pull out the cards. Um, the first thing that I saw here is I see this teenage boy. He's probably like 13 or 14. He's riding a bike. He's got a little messenger cap on. And he's got like newspaper um, in the back of his bike. Okay, so he's got like a rack and there are newspaper rolled up. So I think he just came back home from delivering the newspaper. That's what it feels like to me. And uh, he's riding his bike through this dirt road and there's grass on the side. Okay, this is not like modern day at all. This is a lot um, like a couple hundred, like two, three hundred years ago. That's what it feels like to me. And then as he's biking, minding his own business and just, you know, having a really good time, he sees a bunch of people, villagers, um, running in the same direction that he's headed and then they're all running one after the other and like multiple throngs of villagers pass by and he's all like i wonder what they're doing and uh he's just like th this little light bulb kind of uh this spark in his eyes this little light bulb in his head uh, lights up and he's all like i want to see what they're doing i want to go and explore and so he follows the path where the villagers are running towards and um he that, that it, it ends right there so you don't get to see what he's discovering or you don't get to see what people are doing or where they're headed or you know what's up ahead okay but i feel like there's a spirit of adventure there's a spirit of there's something here that i want to find out that i want to unearth that i want to figure out what the the, the source or the origin so he goes um he follows the trail okay so it's like the newspaper indicates to me somebody who is very inquisitive, okay? Somebody who's very, um, possibly very well read. Somebody who's at least aware of his situation, like situational awareness, but also sort of uh, aware of what's going on in the world, okay? And so I feel like for many of you, <clears throat> something has really piqued your curiosity. And I feel like it's not just an isolated incident. I feel like this, whatever it is that you're, you're, you're hot on the trail of pursuit. I feel like it has bigger, larger ramifications. Okay. More like worldly events, things that will affect the world or things that will affect humankind or things that affect people more on a global scale. Okay. And I feel like that's the only thing that will really pique his interest because like I said, it's not just one villager that's running in that direction. It's a, a throngs of uh, villagers repeatedly running down uh, this dark path towards something in the distance. So I feel like you're on the trail of pursuit of something that you feel is going to be possibly a big story, a big break, or something that's go really going to affect a lot of people. Okay, so you're you're playing um, you're you're playing like the investigator in this uh, situation. The other thing that I saw when I was shuffling the cards, um, give me a moment, let me try to remember what it was. Okay, so I see this ritual and um, it looks to me like an Asian country, possibly China. It seems to me like it might be a, a Chinese cultural event, but there's this, um, there's this, uh, this little pond that also runs into a river okay so i feel like there's this um it's it's possibly like the backyard of somebody's house and it seems like there's a woman and she's she's dressed in a royal robe so she you know has quite a bit of money comes from a wealthy family she's fairly young uh unmarried okay and she has like uh she folded um a ship like a, a boat a, from origami, like she folded it out of paper and she sets it into the water and then it, it slowly, you know, uh, drifts away into the big current and then it goes into the stream that eventually takes it to the river and then takes it wherever else it needs to go. So I feel like you're you're sending out messages to the world, okay? And um, you're, you're trying to make connections, you're trying to... Um, get your ideas out there that's what it feels like to me because the whole situation with paper and then water and streamlining something or you know bringing something forth into the world um i feel for many of you it's it's almost that um image you know trying to make connections with other people trying to see if your 
if there is going to be somebody out there that is exactly like you, that has the same interests, the same hobbies, that has the same, almost like the same spiritual path, where they feel inclined to send this little piece of paper and hope that it survives the voyage so that it could reach the hands of somebody else that's very similar to you. So I feel like it's very ritualistic. It's very ritualistic and I feel as well the concept about, you know, the, the ship going off to sea or going through some type of a major uh, waterway channel. I feel like it's almost a ritual about releasing as well, okay? Embarking on something new, releasing something old, releasing something in a very physical way, like through a ritual, so that you understand that it's no longer serving you and you can, you know, kind of release it to the universe and let it be on its way. For some of you, I felt like that uh, image pretty much denotes like some type of a milestone. Uh, you might have children that are, you know, about to go off to university, about to go off, and they're they're leaving the nest to go off somewhere. And so, in a way, that ritual denotes like um, safe passage for somebody. Okay, and then for others, I feel like uh, you might have had somebody in your family that might have passed away, and this ritual symbolizes the whole uh, concept of, you know. May you have a safe journey in the uh, afterlife, or may you have safe passage to wherever it is that you need to go. Or you might have somebody physically leaving your environment, and I feel like you're bidding them farewell, and you're sending a lot of uh, guidance and a lot of positivity towards them, so that they can have safe passage, so that they can be on their way. Um, so that, those are the two images that I saw. And I feel like this later, um, by the way, I want to wish you all a very happy birthday as well. I totally forgot. Um, it makes sense, you know, you have your solar return that's going to be coming up uh, after the 21st of March and we're going to into airy season. So I feel like you're approaching this period in time with a lot of hope and a lot of um, excitement for the future but at the same time i'm sensing as well you're setting intentions for the future you're setting intentions to kind of like you know shed weight shed some uh shed some things from your past that's no longer it's no longer good for you to hold on to it and i feel like you're coming to the realization that if it's not meant to be it's not meant for me i'm not going to you know there are bigger fish out there, like there are bigger fish in the sea or there are bigger picture items that I need to focus my mind and my attention to. So all the, the, the little annoyances, all the little, little things that I have to constantly chase after, that I have to manage, that I have to push so hard just to get moving. You're at a point where you feel like maybe it's not meant for me. Maybe it's not worthwhile anymore. Maybe I need to do things a little bit differently. Maybe I can relinquish control and not... There you go. It's like a whole process of that boat. Um, relinquishing control. Whatever will be, will be. Releasing something so that it, it can like find its way to its rightful owner. Releasing something so that it can be... So that... If it returns to you, then you know it's meant to be. So I, I see like um, a moment of finality that's coming into the picture where you definitely are transitioning here. We have the death card. And let me get one more card for you guys. Okay, let's do this. Okay. So there's a lot of changes lots of changes in store for you and you're headed into a direction that is very very positive um what really stood out to me are the fours okay so i have here four of pentacles four of swords and the four of cups The only thing that is missing here is the Four of Wands. And um, when we do a reading, something's absent. 
can also have a very profound impact on the reading. Okay, the Four of Wands usually denotes a family, marriage, stability, a situation that is very, very stable. Okay, so many of you might have clung on to the image. You know, this is clinging on. Okay, not letting go, controlling, but also wanting things a specific way. And the absence of the Four of Wands denotes to me that many of you have this idealized vision. Not so much that you're idealistic, but you want a, a specific thing. This vision of what marriage is supposed to be, this vision of what relationships are supposed to be, this vision of what an ideal home is supposed to be like. And I feel like it, it's, it's a very uh, standard archetype that you're going after, okay? And um, for all of my uh, viewers who are, you know, uh, in same-sex relationships, take this how this applies. But what I'm seeing here is there's this idealized vision as well that might have even been uh, kind of uh, imposed upon you, okay? Like the, 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 the household unit needs to have a mom, needs to have a dad, needs to have like, possibly two kids, needs to have a pet cat or a dog, the SUV in the driveway, the white picket fence, the cottage. So that's what I'm feeling. And even if you are, you know, in same-sex relationships, there's this sense of, um, I almost feel like denying your sexuality, okay? Uh, wanting to, to subscribe to some type of a, conform to some type of a vision of what family is supposed to be like or even social expectations. Now, Aries are not conformists. Aries are not conformists. But I feel this energy playing playing out in your life where you kind of um, you feel like you have to meet some type of a standard. And you also feel as well that some things are meant to be this way mainly because it has always been like this. And because it's been tried and true, maybe it's the best way. And I feel like, you know, over the years, as you age, as you progress, you realize that clinging on to this expectation might have had adverse consequences, okay? It might not have allowed you to uh, date people who are very drastically different from you. It might not have allowed you to accept the fact that, you know what? Um, the whole concept about relationships and especially marriage, they serve institutional purposes, okay? And, and, and institutional purposes allows us to kind of organize, compartmentalize, you know, the whole concept about filing joint taxes, for example. It's just easier. It's a way for people to kind of like keep track of how many, how many people are in the household. It's just a, a, a bureaucratic way of keeping tabs on people. And as you get older, you might realize as well, you know, that, that's all it is. And some of you might be in your, you know, late 20s watching this and you're just like, I don't really want to conform to that anymore. I want to just have, you know, for example, for example, um, a, a cohabitation situation where we don't have to get married, we don't have to have expectations imposed upon one another, where we don't get labeled. We can just enjoy each other's presence without all these expectations about relationships, about marriage, about parenting, about childcare. Okay? So I feel like there was a tremendous amount of energy in your early years uh, devoted to trying to build up what you feel might have been that perfect idyllic household marriage relationship situation and you found out over the years that it's not really meant for me we're aries we're supposed to do things differently we're supposed to trailblaze we're supposed to be on the forefront pretty much advocating for change too and we're supposed to find something that is unique that serves its purpose in our lives so i definitely feel like you know you guys are going out debunking a lot of institutional expectations, social expectations, family expectations, overthrowing traditions that might not be good. They've been around, but you're starting to realize how they can be very, very restrictive. And you're kind of keeping true to your course, okay? And the other thing I'm sensing as well 
is um, there might have been some type of a situation that you're definitely releasing and relinquishing control on. Both of these cards to me indicate a situation where there is enlightenment, seeing a different perspective as well. The Four of uh, Swords is usually about spiritual ascension, okay? And then in this situation, it also as well denotes um, coming to understanding of a higher purpose, okay? No longer wanting to control a situation, mainly because when we control, we realize is that it, it, it creates, I'm, I'm getting like anxiety, it creates anxiety within us. And I feel like it's very much relationship oriented. Um, a lot of you guys, when you're in a relationship, you want to be the apple of the other person's eyes okay you want to share every moment of your your day your 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 experiences you want to share all of that with a relationship partner you have your friends you have your you know groups and you can be very very independent but when it comes to a relationship i i feel like some of you might be a little bit more on the possessive side and as a result of that you might want your partner to you know give you that 100 percent and when they tell you, oh, I'm going to hang out with, you know, my girlfriends today or my boyfriend or my, my, my guy friends today, I feel like it can make you feel a little bit like jealous and it can make you feel like, where are you going that you can't go without me? And so I definitely see this, this concept building up where you are releasing control and you're, you're letting somebody be. And you're also understanding that this is not a good place for me to be. It creates a lot of anxiety, so I'm just going to relinquish control. And I'm just going to let the situation naturally um, unfold organically the way it's meant to, rather than trying to micromanage elements within it, okay? I'm also seeing as well, um, there is a situation here where you're not happy with the work environment you're definitely climbing that ladder okay rung by rung you're climbing that ladder but in 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 some capacity i feel like at the end of the road you know once you're at the top you're just like what's next you want to make your mark on the world you want to do something that is a little bit more like trailblazing a lot more adventurous a lot more um that that stirs your passion and I'm also feeling like you've been doing a lot of things that were expected of you in order to get this, you know, really strong financial foundation. And now that you have achieved the financial foundation, the home, the luxury car, you know, many of you have property that accrues a lot of uh, value, okay, over the years. And so you're just like, what's next? Like, you know, what, what do I need to do now, now that I can transition? Which way do I go? And I feel like you're kind of like at a crossroads, it seems, because this is a card about choices, options that are opening up for, for us, okay? Uh, when it comes to career, it's basically like talking and, and interacting with a lot of people from different walks of life. And you're finding out their life story. You're interacting with them in a way where they're telling you, oh yeah, I'm doing this. And then somebody else is like, I'm doing that. And it opens up a new world for you. Like so many options, so many choices are basically uncovered. Coming into the picture, being unveiled to you. And now you're just like, my life is a little bit lackluster. I need to do what the other people are doing. But in a way, you know, there's this, um, pride within you too i don't want to follow the herd i want to create my own thing or i want to come into um i, I want to come into existence or, or will something into existence that is uniquely me that doesn't um that, that's not just jumping on the bandwagon that's what it feels like and you're trying to create that you're trying to come to to, to terms with that and i see a lot of people thinking possibly shifting from some type of a nine to five job we have here the eight of pentacles Eight of Coins, Eight of Pentacles. This is what I usually think about, like a regular nine to five um, working for another person. And you're shifting from this and you're possibly, you possibly have a really, really good idea. Somebody possibly is coming into the picture and giving you some type of pointers. They might be telling you, I'm self-employed and I have this uh, venture that I'm doing. Um, and it, it's kind of like, you know, the, the, the wheels, are set in motion 
for you to think about. What am I doing now? What do I need to do? And I feel many of you are at a point where you're thinking about being, you know, the business owner, being the self-employment person, or being the, the self-employed person, or seek self-employment for yourself because you're at a point where you might be a little bit bored, okay? We have here the Six of Coins, and this is a card about um, money coming in from institutions. And I'm seriously seeing as well, uh, many of you are looking at selling property, releasing property, and you're possibly even talking to somebody to see how much your property is worth, like a um, real estate agent, a broker, or somebody who... I'm seeing a lot of releasing property. We have the tower and we also have the page of wands. So the tower with the page of wands, it denotes transitioning from one place into the next. And you're trying to be smart about this too. You're just like, the whole, the whole, do I need to restore it? Do I need to do like massive repairs on it before I sell it? Or can I just leave it as is and transition into a new house? So many of you are thinking about, you know, um, getting a different loan for a new property, relinquishing your property, and then trying to figure out what to, where to go to. And I feel like where you're trying to go is not yet clearly defined for you. You definitely have options, okay? Seven of Cups, lots and lots and lots of options. You're narrowing down your options, which is good. Four of Cups. So some options that are a little bit too frivolous, that are a little bit too um, idealistic, I feel like they're being knocked down. And so you're looking at a few other options that you have when it comes to work, when it comes to buy new property. And I feel like you don't want to leave the geographical location where you're at mainly because your network is there, your social network, your professional network, it's the place that you're used to. But I feel like there aren't a lot of um, newness coming into this new environment, this, this environment. And so you're trying to exact change and you're trying to shift into something that has a lot more, that jives with your energy. Okay, so you definitely have a place in mind, I feel, of where if you had a chance or an opportunity comes into the picture, where geographically would you want to relocate to? Would you want to work at? Would you want to, you know, uh, uproot and, and, and settle down to? Many of you have this concept or this, this idea, it's already like solidified in your head. But you're hesitant about making that major transition because you understand it's going to be uprooting everything that you know that that you've really you know spent many many years creating your career your social network your friendships your professional contacts it, this is like safety the four of pentacles is a lot about safety earthly possessions as well as just the whole concept about safety okay it's something predictable it's tried and true it's very very stable and now we're transitioning into something else which is a major escalation we're going from the four of pentacles to the six of pentacles more financial blessings more um it's it's like another ladder that you're climbing okay a new work environment that will allow you to climb the corporate ladder all over again or even a new work environment that will allow you to be the the um, um, the owner, the boss, the self-employed person, and managing other people. Even some of you might even be thinking about managerial, supervisory types of position, where you're overseeing the work of others. And I'm feeling as well. There's just a lot of changes that are necessary and in store for you. And you know that change is inevitable, but you're still trying to lay down the foundation of what this new thing is supposed to be like. Okay. So that's what I'm, I'm, I'm seeing here. And we have as well the tower and the death card. So I don't know if there has been like a recent death in the family, hence the whole ritual about letting go of the ship, okay? So this is kind of like irreversible change, change that has already happened. It's, it's something that you know you cannot go back to. And now it's signifying a big, you know, a major transition coming through in your life as well as financial windfall so you know money coming in as re as a result of somebody passing away money coming in as a result of a situation that might have been cataclysmic but now there's some type of a final resolution from this 
I do feel like the um, four months time, the um, so we are heading into so right now we're in March. So like around the July, August time frame, some of this is going to clear itself up and it's going to be finalized for you. You're getting some news here in the July time frame. You're getting some news. Seven of Cups, I usually see that as like internet based types of communication. A lot of avenues that you can walk down on, a lot of things that you need to sign and just a, just a lot of things, okay? Just a lot of paperwork, a lot of things to look at, a lot of little details to consider. So I see that something coming in in that um, July time frame. What I'm also feeling as well, this is a very, very um, spiritual reading. We have here the High Priestess, and this usually denotes to me uh, unearthing something, discovering something, uh, getting to the bottom of something, getting some really, really solid detail, some concrete information that your intuition or your hunches has been nagging at you all along. And I feel like for many of you, there is going to be some major, major news coming into the picture regarding this situation for some of you. It could be a person um, where you're getting news, possibly, about, you know, um, I, I don't want to dwell on this. This, this is a, a really spiritual reading. I don't want to dwell too much on relationship because it's indicating to me bigger picture, bigger items, things that affect a lot of people, not just our individual story, okay, our individual narrative. I feel like you're getting some major, major news coming into the picture regarding some type of a big plot, regarding something that is that, that you, you, you felt all along, but now you're getting that final confirmation, okay? Um, I'm also seeing as well in the work environment, um, I'm feeling like there might be some restructuring. There might be like an implementation of a major, major, massive overhaul in the work situation. If you're on, if you're feeling a little bit nervous, like I wonder what what's gonna come out as a result of it. I wonder if my position is safe. I feel like your position is safe, and I also feel like there could even be people leaving that might be above you, okay? Some restructuring when it comes to personnel. If your position is right here, I feel like they're on top of you. So those positions might be opening up. Hence, you can slip into those positions and get a higher salary or even a higher pay increase. And you're gonna be made aware of this. If there has been a lot of, you know, hush, hush, closed doors, um, conversations in your office and you you feel you you feel the energetic waves okay they're like conversations or unspoken conversations or or things that are kind of like behind closed doors or hidden out of view you're going to get some major major um, information really big information like I, I see you know the the ground shaking but in a good way because I feel like it brings about a lot of positive change, okay? So you're gonna get like confirmation that whatever has been going on, it's been going on for some time, and now it's it's been like kind of um, resolved behind closed doors, and as a result of it, it's going to be brought to light when everything has already been resolved. So if there are some major structural issues in the work env um, in the work environment. Just know that it's the, the, the irons are getting wrinkled out, that things are going to, you know, um, I, I see this bottleneck, okay? So things are going to bottleneck and then it just kind of, um, every time there's a bottleneck, somebody is going to come in and try to expand that, that road so that things can transition smoothly. So I'm seeing a situation where there's a lot of uncertainty being ironed out and there's a lot more certainty towards the end. And I feel for many of you, new positions opening up that you can potentially apply for, that you qualify for. But I feel like many of you are feeling very, very restless right now. And you're not really sure if the changes at the end of it, if it's going to be good. I can assure you it's going to look a lot better. Okay, Your financial situation is definitely on the upswing and it is improving. 
And I also feel like your emotional state is going to be a lot more settled, okay? So we have four of coins, six of coins. That's a major improvement here. We have the seven of cups to the four of cups, which basically means choices, options, or pretty much um, dwindling. But because they're dwindling from a state of confusion, from a state of too many options, too many uncertainty, to a space where you have a lot more certainty here with the Four of Cups, okay? Um, there is a card on here that I want to see what's going on. So the Page of Wands is a messenger, and I feel like this is you. You could be the bearer of news, you could be the one that's privy to information, and you're going to blow some things out of the water, okay? This is what I call like the whistleblower, but this is also the, the delivery of news, okay? Like that kid on his bike with the, um, the rolled up, the rolls of newspaper, okay? So you might be the one that is... Th th that's like um, dropping the bomb on everybody's lap, okay? Um, so let me see what this relates to. Can you give me two more cards? Okay, so I'm going to take those and put this back. I have here the Emperor, the Hierophant, and the Ten of Cups. So. The emperor indicates leadership, okay? This is like leadership quality being thrust in a position. So, so those of you who have applied for like um, a promotion, I feel like you're going to be able to get it. We have the hero font as well. And I feel like this is sort of like that David and Goliath type of battle. This is your energy, the epitome of Aries here. This is like distilled Aries energy. Doing what's right, following your moral compass, and I feel almost like you're very, very pure at heart. Even if somebody presents you with an idea or a concept or a situation and you're just like, wait a minute, that's not in completely moral. I feel like you're going to um, give them like a piece of your mind. And we have a situation here, the Hierophant. What I mentioned earlier about expectations, other people's expectations of you social expectations, society's expectation, what has always been, you know, tried and true. Just because it's tried and true, and it has been around for years, and it's, you know, everybody follows this rubric, it doesn't make it right, and it doesn't make it, it doesn't make it the ideal type, okay? People did it, they never questioned it, but it doesn't make it right. So I feel like for many of you, you're at a point where you're trying to, you know, reform this big, big, big structure, mainly because you feel like you have a better idea of how it should be. And you feel like you've come into your own where you don't need these rules and these restrictions and these constraints. You know how to do what you're expected to do. And we also have as well, Ten of Cups. This is getting really, really good news when it comes to um, your emotional state, okay? Many of you might be getting married because the Hierophant deals with institutions. So if this is something you've been waiting long and hard on, I do see proposals. I do see a situation where, you know, you're in a relationship and you're just like, when is that person going to propose? Am I wasting my time even? Um, and I feel like there might be a proposal in the picture for many of you for this month and it's going to come out of the blue. It's going to come very, very unexpectedly and it's really going to, you know, um, set your heart on fire, okay? Um, so we have really, really good news and we have a lot of um, positive things that are coming into the picture, which to me is all indicative of you have to release, okay? You have to like um, be open-handed, open-hearted, open-fisted in a situation and not uh, cling too much to a certain expectation that you have regarding a situation. When we relinquish control, it allows the universe to kind of shuffle things around and everything will kind of like lock in place the way it's meant to. It's like that jigsaw puzzle, right? Like if you've ever, I feel like many of you guys can, you know, do a jigsaw puzzle and you get really frustrated. It's not just about, you know, um, setting the pieces aside that have similar color schemes. It's more as well about making sure that all the edges, all the little pieces fit together 
if we try to force it, it ruins the edges, right? If we try to like hammer it in or pound it in, it doesn't work. So there's a right fit, and there's also divine timing at work in everything that we do in life. And so we just kind of have to approach it in a more delicate way and allow the situation to just kind of naturally unfold. And when we do that, all the right pieces will kind of like find their way to each other, and then they will lock into place, and it will create a more solid, stable structure. Okay. So that is what I have for you, Aries. I wish you the very, very best for your birthday time. Have a wonderful, wonderful celebration with your loved ones. Um, for those interested in a reading, I do have uh, a link in the description box for this psychic. She's based out of California. She is phenomenal. Uh, I highly recommend uh, getting a reading with her. Okay, so if you want to do that, the link is in the description box below. Take care of yourself and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of March.